What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. Today I'm going to be uh, introducing and trying this new product called Rag Top. Um, this is supposed to be a very good top of the line cleaner for your convertible top. And I'm also going to show you how to maintain your top in order to assist in preventing leaks in the future. As everybody knows with convertibles, you tend to get leaks and typically the reason for your leaks are going to be either a top that is not adjusted properly um, or typically it's your seals and these seals are extremely important okay all the way here down here this is part of a seal this seal as well going down the door all right and then you also don't want to forget you've got seals around the perimeter of your door as well all the way underneath and then back up again all right you also don't want to forget the seal it's going across the entire front of your car it's very important to uh, keep all of these seals as funny as it may sound lubricated how do you do that well armor all works great or any other type of I'm not necessarily recommending armor all but any uh, any brand of product that blocks UV rays and helps rejuvenate rubber plastic things of that nature um, as you can see, this is very shiny. I just did this, all right? I'm not a fan of Armor All um, or, or any of those products on the dash. I don't use them because I don't like my dashboard looking shiny. But it works absolutely wonderful on keeping these clean. And you also want to get down inside these lips as well. I know it's a little blurry. I'm sorry about that. But you want to get down in these lips. Same thing over here inside these lips and on top. Um, there's a lip up there as well, so make sure you lift it and clean it thoroughly. When I just cleaned this one, um, there was a lot of debris, and you guys may not know this. Sorry, I'm having a trouble with zoom or autofocus today. I'm trying to turn it off, but it's not paying attention. Um, this, all through all of these, all right, there's a reason these have lips. Rain and moisture run through channels. They run down and it actually channels it inside where it drains out underneath the car. Okay, so you want to make sure there's one right there, there's a hole. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hole in there. That's where the rainwater goes through. You got to make sure these are kept clean. You got to make sure all the channels are completely clean so that when moisture water gets in them, it drains properly out from under the car. Um, there's another another thing I want to show you about convertible tops all right we're gonna open this one if your convertible top ever stop starts whining a little bit um, I'm not gonna actually lift this up totally but there down in here right back there is one of them I don't know if you can even see it right there in the middle of the screen okay all throughout the top um, as you can see, I clean this lip thoroughly, too. Um, all throughout here. Very clean. You want all this clean. But throughout your entire convertible top system, there's all of these hinges. All right? So what you want to do is raise your top approximately 50% of the way up. Mine was whining pretty badly. And that can be a sign of low hydraulic fluid. And if that's the case, you're going to have to just get in there. Uh, usually it's behind the seat. Um, you got to pull the seat out and check and fill the hydraulic fluid. It's a good idea to drain it and refill it as well. I'm not going to show you that because I haven't done it yet. But as you can see back here, we've got a hinge here. All right, we've got a, a hinge back here. And we've got a hinge right here. We've got a hinge up here. Okay, all of these parts move. There's a hinge right there at the top. All right, you see, I can show you this hole better here too for the water draining right there. Got to make sure it's cleaned out. Make sure that's nice and clean too all across the top. Um, but you want all of these hinges going all the way down. And you've got more down in here, guys. You can see uh, there's a hinge down there. You've got a, looks like some hydraulic pump right there. Um, not here, but like way back in there. It's very difficult to see. <laughs> but take you some WD-40 or something similar. Keep all these hinges lubricated. And uh, that seemed to, for the most part, solve the whining issue that I had with my convertible top when I was trying to put it up. 
As you can see, we'll go ahead and put it up now. It still whines a little bit, which is normal, but I mean before, it was it was really bad. It was like a loud whine, so this is a whole lot better. Just wanted to throw that out there for you guys, and now we're going to get into cleaning the top. Alright, so according to the directions on Ragtop, the first thing you want to do is get your top soaking wet. So we're going to spray it down, get it exceptionally wet. And you probably don't want to do this in direct sunlight. Um, the sun's starting to go down here, so it should make it a little, little bit easier. But get the top nice and soaked, saturated. This helps to remove any uh, loose debris, particles, things of that nature. And once you've done this, we're going to hit it with the Ragtop cleaning product. You can see on the directions, uh, rinse thoroughly, then apply even on a wet surface and scrub lightly with a soft brush, terry cloth, rag, or sponge. Um, I'm going to use this right here. And we're going to go ahead and spray it and scrub it down. It says that for tough stains, uh, tree sap, bird droppings, things of that nature, you can let it sit for 10 to 20 minutes. But again, you don't want to do this in direct sunlight, okay? So let's get started. And it helps if you uh, twist the cap and turn it on. <laughs> All right. What I'm going to do is half of the top at a time. I'm not going to do the entire top all at once, just half of it. And I don't really have any tough stains, so we're going to go ahead and just give it a good scrub. I'm going to go ahead and wet this brush a little bit to help out, and we'll start scrubbing it. All right. Make sure to get in these stitches as well. You want to pay very close attention to these stitches and get in there, and the seams as well up here. These corners where stitches come together, very important areas to get clean. All right, now that we got that done, spray it off thoroughly. All right, so at this point, we have thoroughly scrub the top. I spent uh, 15 or so minutes scrubbing it, making very sure that I get in these seams and these stitches. All right, they go all the way down. These seams, very important, especially where they meet up here. So they go down, and also I paid special attention all around the window. I made certain to, I mean, I scrubbed the whole top really well, but I paid close attention to all of the seams, the window, and the stitching. So as you can see, um, it kind of looks like the top's just sort of absorbed it. Uh, now the top doesn't leak, I'll go ahead and uh, tell you that now. There's no leaking in the top at all, but this is preventative maintenance. These tops are extremely expensive, along with the weather stripping that I was telling you about earlier. So, you know, you can spend twelve to sixteen hundred dollars getting a new top installed, or, you know, you can spend forty dollars here and there, do it yourself, and, you know, save the money. These tops can last a lifetime if properly maintained. So we'll come back after the top is dried and move on to the next step. All right, so now that the top is dry, uh, the window's still wet, but we're not going to be touching the window. Um, it's very, very important you do not put this product on the top until it's dry or it's not going to work properly, okay? So it may be a little more time consuming, but let the top dry thoroughly before you put the product on it. So next, we're going to come over here and get the second product that comes in this package which is 
uh, in my case, the vinyl protectant. If you have cloth, they have another package for cloth. Um, I always shake things up before I use them. You know, I don't know if it's necessary or not, but uh, it says spray on, wipe dry with clean cotton towel or rag. Apply every three to five weeks for maximum UV protection. So let's get started. It may also be worth mentioning that the bottle actually says that this is safe to use on dashboards and interior pieces. So that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead. I've got a, a cotton towel, clean obviously. Let's go ahead and start spraying this stuff on. You don't have to worry about getting it on your car. Um, it's not gonna hurt the paint or anything like that. So uh, I'm gonna do half of it. Get all in the stitches. It's very important. Make sure you spray the stitching really well. All right, spray on, and we'll take our towel. And we will proceed to wipe it dry. Again, getting into stitching and up underneath it here. And here's what it looks like. You can see the before and after can definitely see a huge difference in the way the top looks now. So I'll go ahead and do the other side and we'll come back. Alright, so here's the final video. This is what it looks like after treating it. Um, it was exceptionally dry, so I had to go over this uh, twice with the product. And this is what it looks like after it's had time to dry. I'm going to go back over and wash the windows because the stuff did overspray some. I want to get that off. But let's do a uh, quick test spraying it. Alright, so let's spray it. Look at that. Last time, if you remember, beginning of the video, it didn't beat off, it just absorbed. Look at that, guys. Uh, this is my first time using the product. And... Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that, guys. Alright. So, this makes me a very satisfied customer. Look at that. Look how it just sheathes off. Very nice. Alright, so we have a completed review video. It looks like Ragtop really works. It says use every five or six weeks for maximum UV protection. And that's what I plan to do. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and be safe out there.